Imagine a world where the hum of combustion engines is replaced by the silent whir of electric motors. Is this the future of transportation? As we stand on the precipice of a new era, a global shift towards electric vehicles is underway. These silent warriors of the road hold the potential to significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions, heralding a new epoch in our fight against climate change. Yet they promise more than just environmental redemption, they could utterly transform the auto industry as we know it. But as we'll discover, this transition is a complex puzzle, a multifaceted challenge that goes beyond simply replacing combustion with electric. From the current state of battery technology to building an efficient charging infrastructure, from grappling with electric grid capacity to navigating economic impacts, the journey is fraught with hurdles. Add to this the social and policy considerations and the life cycle environmental impact of these vehicles and you see the full picture. So the road to electric mobility is not as smooth as it may seem. Let's delve into the bumps along the way. It all starts with the heart of the electric vehicle, the battery. Today's battery technology, while impressive, still faces some significant challenges. First, there's the cost. B-roll batteries are expensive, and this cost is reflected in the sticker price of electric vehicles. Then, there's the issue of range, B-roll. Despite advancements, electric vehicle batteries still can't match the distance a tank of gas can cover. Charging time is another concern, B-roll. It takes considerably longer to charge a battery than to refuel a gas tank, which can lead to range anxiety among potential users. And it's not just about the user experience. B-roll producing batteries requires a substantial amount of rare earth minerals. This raises valid concerns about the environmental impact and sustainability of sourcing these materials. However, never underestimate the power of human ingenuity. B-roll ongoing advancements in battery technology are tirelessly focused on overcoming these challenges. The battery is indeed a hurdle, but it's one that innovators worldwide are striving to leap over. But the challenges don't stop at the battery. What about the infrastructure needed to support these electric beasts? Let's delve into that. Picture an array of charging stations as common as gas stations. Sounds ideal, right? But establishing such a network is like threading a needle in the dark. It's costly, time-consuming, and especially challenging in rural and underserved areas. And that's not all. Our current electric grids would need a serious power-up to handle the increased load from a large-scale shift to electric vehicles. For regions heavily reliant on fossil fuels for electricity generation, the environmental benefits of electric vehicles could be less pronounced. Now let's talk dollars and cents. The transition to electric vehicles signals a seismic shift for the automotive industry. It's not just about swapping out combustion engines for electric motors. It's about investing heavily in new manufacturing processes and facilities. And let's not forget the potential job losses in sectors tied to traditional vehicle manufacturing and maintenance. So who's steering this ship? Governments and industries have a significant role to play in navigating these choppy waters. They need to manage these changes carefully to prevent economic disruption. It's a balancing act of monumental proportions, requiring strategic planning, substantial investment, and a little bit of courage. The economic and infrastructural challenges are formidable, but with strategic planning and investment, they can be mitigated. Now, let's tackle the societal, policy, and environmental aspects of this transition. To encourage the adoption of electric vehicles, we must implement incentives, subsidies, and educational initiatives. This could involve tax breaks for EV owners, grants for charging station installation, or public campaigns to raise awareness about the benefits of electric mobility. However, while crafting these policies, it's crucial to ensure they don't widen social disparities. The relatively high cost of electric vehicles can make them inaccessible to lower income individuals, potentially deepening social inequities. Therefore, policies must be designed with fairness in mind, perhaps by including provisions for used EVs or affordable financing options. Additionally, international cooperation is key in setting standards and regulations for electric vehicles. This ensures compatibility and efficiency across borders, streamlining the global transition to electric mobility. Now, let's consider the life cycle environmental impact of EVs. While they have the potential to significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions, this benefit hinges greatly on the source of the electricity used to charge them. If the electricity comes from fossil fuels, the environmental benefits diminish. Moreover, the methods used in battery production and recycling also play a significant role in determining the overall environmental footprint of EVs. 
It's clear that the transition to electric vehicles is a multifaceted challenge, requiring a comprehensive and global approach. So, where does that leave us on the road to the future? We've navigated the winding path of transitioning to electric vehicles, from the technological hurdles of battery technology to the societal impacts and environmental considerations. It's clear that this shift is not just a swap of engines, but a complex web of challenges that need addressing. The future of transportation may be electric, but the journey there is charged with complexity. It's a journey we must embark on, armed with knowledge and innovation, for a sustainable tomorrow.